What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D Free. This is a really weird spot to start a video off on, but we are taking Super Battle Road on, and uh, I'm gonna explain the choices, all that stuff. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so hope you guys enjoy, and let's go ahead and break it down. So we got the Vegeta. At the start of the turn, this guy gets 15,000 attack and 20,000 defense. So solid amount among like you know the fact that he has LR stats can be rainbowed. A lot, a lot of different intangibles. It's not a bad amount. So, that being said, moving on, he gets an additional 15,000 attack and, atta and uh, can attack two additional times per turn after he gets hit for four turns. So, for four turns after he gets hit, he gets 15,000 more attack and can launch two additional attacks. Those attacks can only be normal attacks, though. So, keep that in mind. We're going to play through this turn. And I'm going to explain why I didn't bring certain units like Kid Buu or like the Scout or Vegeta in just a second. I always got to point that out because somehow I still get asked. And I'm like, come on, man. I say it every video why I don't do certain things. It's cool. I understand. But, like, it's just like, no. <laughs> uh, we're going to go with uh, uh, this is, a, like, not a great key rotation, to be honest. Like, I just, I, whatever. We'll just do that. Um, so, anyways, that being said, what I wanted to try to do with this video, with this setup, was focus on my key. That's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that everything was a, a super. I wanted to make sure that the LRs can launch consistent ultra supers uh, for the most part, things of that nature. I wanted to be able to go into this event and feel confident that we can beat it. So ultimately what that boiled down to is while I could have got a little bit more statistical boost per Kid Buu leader, uh, I just felt like he was he himself was too inconsistent. Didn't add much to the table in terms of being alongside Vegeta, who's my primary target is showcased in this video. And ultimately, I felt like, you know, leaving the video to where it could be linking up Vegeta with LRs or like shadowing the limit type units was just a better direction, in my opinion. So that's why we did it the way we did. And of course, Bojack's ability to offer an additional key, additional key for four at the start of the turn. And of course, stacking that with a friend. It was just too good to me. Like, I just felt like starting off at 8 key pr prior to links, prior to anything, was just too good. So, for this scenario right here, we will actually do it back the way it was. Vegeta's passive is still active because he did get hit earlier in the last turn. I don't know if that was a part of the recording or not. So, we're going to target... Uh, we'll, we'll go We'll go there. We'll try to take him out. So, right here, I'm barely doing it, but we're getting an Ultra Super. That's all I really cared about. If I had two key less, I don't think this is an Ultra Super. Yep, it's not. So, like, stuff like that. Little scenarios. But uh, we'll go for this. I have a Whis active, actually. I used it in the last turn, but I wanted the HP back. I got pretty low there, so we're going to go with that. Now, as far as Scouter Vegeta, he is one of the better units you can run with this Vegeta among Extreme Int-type units. As you know, there is no uh, pure Saiyans category stage or anything like that. The only other stages I really I think could have took him to would have been like a villain stage. But, you know, I've just decided to use Extreme End because it's a little different. I always like to go back and visit these teams. I actually do not have that Vegeta, though. The Int Scouter one, the 40% three-key support, unfortunately. He is one of like maybe, ooh, a crit. He's one of like maybe, uh, oh, another crit. Like three or four units in the game that I don't have, if that. This one, this last attack from the potential system sucks. It didn't turn out to be a super. I don't know if I pointed it out, but I, I typically like to mention that just like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, the super attacks or the additional attacks that come from the passive, the two that he gets, cannot be super attacks. So keep that in mind. But yeah, um, I don't have him. He's one of the few units in the game I don't have. So it's unfortunate, but it's just kind of how things broke down. So we'll go for this. I don't really think it matters too much. I don't think she's going to do a lot of damage. I really just don't think it matters. We even dodged it, so we're good. Now, the thing about Vegeta's buffs is they're for four turns, but they include turns like this one where he's not here. So going into next turn, it's going to be turned off. He needs to be hit before it re-triggers, right? I, I don't think there's even going to be a next turn. But still, if there was, he would need to be hit before re-triggered, which is just the biggest issue with that type of passive. It's good. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just if you don't put him in, like, the first spot, for example. For one, if your opponent isn't even attacking the first spot, you pretty much can, you have the possibility of wasting a whole turn of Vegeta's passive because it triggers that same exact turn. So if he is in the first spot, actually, let me go ahead and see what happens here for an example because Vegeta will be here. There is an attack in the first spot, so that's great. So if I left Vegeta where he is now, for example, he'd get hit here. It would trigger his passive, but since he had already attacked, that's a turn wasted. And it also includes the turns he's not here. So really, if he's on rotation, it's just you only get two turns, two chances to use it. 
Now, the good news is it can be reapplied every other turn, pretty much. You just keep getting him hit. It just comes back when it wears off. That's it. So if he's in Bojack's spot, of course, he gets to utilize it, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep him alive alongside Bojack here. I need to make sure he gets hit. Unfortunately, I would re really like for him to be alongside uh, Frieza for that, but it's fine. So right here, we'll go with that. That's cool. We do get the Ultra with Bojack. That was the trade-off, getting the Ultra or, or, like, getting Vegeta's passive, so. Oh, another scenario where 2 key Shy actually isn't even a super for Vegeta and also isn't an Ultra Super for Bojack, so. Again, I just feel like it needed it. I feel like the team is good, but it just it would have been better this way. Oh, I guess I used an Icarus last round, so that's good. Attack just went up. You guys saw it under the damage. 647,000. This is probably about the weakest attack Vegeta will have all video. But he does additional, so that's good. Come on, additional super crit. Ah, oh, this guy never gives me additional supers, ever. Activate your potential system, man, and give me that additional super. You have like a level 5. No, I think I am level 15 crit. I think I'm going to change that. I think I'm going to give him like... Maybe 15 additional. I don't know. I mean, crit's the better one, but I don't know. I really want that additional super. I really want that additional super. I'm going to look at my uh, – the thing about him is that he's int, so he gets the free level 5 to int – or excuse me, to dodge. Unlike Evolution Vegeta, who gets it to additional. So you can kind of play with it a little more um, for the Evolution Vegeta. It's, they're like the same unit, man. They're very, very similar units. Um – Guess I'll get that Ultra Super. Why not? Just keep attacking Go Tanks. We might even stun here. Can you not? How about we don't do that, Piccolo? How about we don't? Yeah, honestly, I feel like this team obviously can beat it. I mean, there's some really high end it units here. But at the same time. I feel like this might be something that, I don't know, like maybe depending on how I handle it, it might take a second try. I'm not really looking to beat it. I want to get that out there now. Like, I don't know if we'll go all the way through, but what I want to do is just try to show Vegeta a little bit versus this mode and some of his versatility. Again, I'm really I'm really just disappointed I don't have the int Vegeta, the uh, base form one, the support one that's only on the int type banners. That's the reason why that banner's like almost never here. So they started off having those banners here always. Now they're just like never here though. Okay, well, Vegeta gets the Ultra, and he should be able to eliminate Gotenks from here. Almost max key as well, so that's good. All right, get the Ultra there, too. These guys trigger Shattering the Limit and Legendary Power together. If you haven't noticed, Vegeta has some really, really good allies. Like, his, his key stuff, it, his situation with key is kind of finicky, but... The thing about Vegeta is that he has some really good allies, but he really wants to be alongside units that have Shattered in the Limit for the most part. The good news is that Shattered in the Limit hosts several really good units, like the AGL, or excuse me, the Int-type Goku that changes, I believe, AGL orbs to Int. You know him. They also have the buff Goku and the Saiyan armor. Like, those are units that are, unfortunately, locked for this mode. I can't use them here on this team because this is only extreme Int units uh, available. But, like, there are some really good units that just, for example, among Int types, you have uh, just in general among Saiyans, you know, you have a lot of really, really good supports like Turles. So on pure Saiyans, he's a lot more versatile. But at the bare minimum, he wants to be alongside units. Yeah, he finally gave me an additional super. Alongside units like the Turles that I use in this video, who has something like Shattering the Limit, who also has something like uh, the Key Support Passive. So those types of things stack, like the Meta Cooler here, Shattering the Limit, Key Support Passive. Those types of things work very, very, very well for this Vegeta and help help him out with consistency, right? Because he does struggle. He doesn't have a uh, perfect battle on other teams. He's going to struggle there a little bit, but all in all, he's a good unit. And Frieza stunned for me. That's amazing. That's amazing. Great job, Frieza. Round of applause, man. All right, so we're going to go here. And a lot of the same things I just mentioned kind of apply to Bojack in a lesser way. Bojack's a little bit more consistent, but having Shatter in the Limit and key support allies like Meta Cooler just helps, man. When you have LRs that have Shatter in the Limit, you need to take advantage of it because it's not an innate shaft on the unit. While you would love for them to have Fierce Battle, sometimes it's just flat out better for them to have Shatter in the Limit because they're more consistent with key. And in being more consistent, in my opinion, trumps the additional little bit of damage, well, probably a lot of bit of damage that you get. But again, if you don't get the Ultra Super, I mean, what difference does it make, right? So, all right, let's move on to the next round. 
So speaking of Vegeta, we have a Vegeta mirror match, not an LR, but just Vegeta in general. So let's go ahead and transition into this Vegeta and Trunks. All right, so we have our Vegeta here as well, alongside one of his best friends, Turles. This rotation is so slick for the key, man. I'm gonna try to avoid those purple orbs, though. I do not want to get the Dokkan attack. You know what? Actually, I can get it with Vegeta. I can get it with Vegeta, actually. That'd be really good. I didn't realize that we were that close. I might be able to get it. That's what's gonna suck, is if I get so close and I don't get it. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if if we get close. I need like a couple more int orbs in here. These, All these other curler orbs give me the same amount, if I recall correctly, but like I need a couple more int orbs, I think. I'm just gonna avoid int orbs for a couple of turns and make sure that I roll back around with Vegeta. But this is pretty much his best rotation, so that kinda sucks. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore them for now. Man, I hate having to ha have these old ones. These old Super Auto Roads have uh, have four four rounds versus three. Ad uh, admittedly, though, the newer ones, while they only have three rounds, they hit a lot harder. They were a lot harder to do, but still. 1.2 million. All right, crit for me! Crit for me! Eliminate your son! Aw, oh, man, keep going, crits! Crits, crits, one more additional super crit. I saw that earlier, boy. I was too busy talking, but don't think I didn't notice. Oof, crit for me! <laughs> yes! This man out here with his best evolution Vegeta impersonation, man. Great job. Appreciate it. All right, so Trunks is almost gone, so that's good. All right, so let's just try to take out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm still avoiding. Wow, I don't think I can. I think that I think I'm forced to get it just because there's too much. It depends if this. I think I think I'm forced to get it. Yeah, I'm forced to get it. That's unfortunate. That's very. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. We're gonna be one key off. Yes, perfect. Yes. We get to see Vegeta's output. I could have force targeted uh, the Vegeta instead of the Trunks. The reason why I didn't though is because I didn't want to have a scenario where these guys additional super crit and all that stuff and you know they just take everybody out. I feel like Vegeta would have survived otherwise, right? So that's what I see. Like this is what I was just worried about. Like if I had Frieza and Bojack targeting, maybe the last Frieza comes in and just wipes out the other Trunks somehow. I didn't know. So, all right, we are set. Hopefully I can, I think I get the Ultra Super. There's so many purple orbs I avoided. Oh, we stunned him too. That's amazing. That's amazing. Great job. Great job. All right. I do get it, but it's not the way I want it because these are in the way. But I'll take it, man. I'll take it. We're a couple keys shy, but I have to give it to Vegeta here. Otherwise, whoever goes in the first spot is going to take it. Huh. Another scenario where that extra two key really matters. Bojack, man, these four key LRs are really good. They're just so good for consistency. All right. All right, let's do it. Crit. Oh, man. Only 1.8. No crit. Oh, there's the crits. There's the crit, huh? No, that's not a crit. The first one was, though. Additional super. Do it. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. Bojack is going to finish it off. All good, though. I'm not even mad. Vegeta had a nice showing so far. We'll try out the last round. I mean, this team is able to do it. I'm not saying that we can't, you know what I'm saying? But we also have max HP. But, you know, I was just, I'm not super confident, you know? Yeah, I'd be confident. What is this? A trio? Is this a trio? Is this Goku, Gohan, and Goten? Oh, it, it is a trio, but it's not the right one. Yo, if I can get some stuns, that'd be amazing. That would be amazing. If Turles would stun for me, that would be so good. Good thing is that Freeze is here, so the debuff is applied. Let's try to stun whoever's not attacking too much. 
Actually, let's just, since Turtle's in the first spot, he gets hit by everybody. Wow, that's annoying. There's no good target, so whatever. I guess there is a good target. It's whoever's attacking Frieza the most, but that's fine. We're just keying on Goku a bit. Vegeta has a clear path of orbs down the middle. So we'll just do that. Oh, we got the stun. Great job. Great job, Turles. Can you guys not? Were they all going to super the first spot? Are you serious? <laughs> Great job, Turles. <laughs> Freaking MVP here. It's unfortunate that we went after Goku here. I should have targeted other people. That was a misplay from me. Especially because Goku's almost dead now. Yeah, I really should have targeted some other guys. Great job with the dodge. Freezer, just finish off the Goku. Might as well just get him out. Total misplay from me. Of course you didn't get him out, though. But at least you don't have to take a second attack. Now, Bojack is a really good candidate for the first spot here. Um... Actually, that's not an Ultra Super for anybody. That's one key shy. Because this Frieza doesn't have Rebirth. Not having Rebirth actually really sucks. That really, 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 really sucks. <laughs> it really blows, man. Uh, we'll just... We'll... Aw, we'll, we'll, oh, man. We'll do that. I didn't want to do that. But maybe I fill in the right way at the top. Wow, purple's filled in, but not the way I wanted. Uh, do I do it? No, nah, this Vegeta needs to get hit, though. He's kind of trash here. He should have been in the first spot. Because Bojack wasn't getting an ultra anyway. Again, double misplay from me. The item is still active here. Frieza gets hit by double Vegeta, though. Vegeta supered last turn. I think we're good this turn. No matter what I do, I think we're good. I think we're good. I just want to take out Goku before he's unstunned, really. There we go. Oh, potential system kicked in. Yes! As soon as I started complaining about not getting additionals, he starts doing it. Stun for me, Frieza. Oh my gosh, if you stun. If you stun, please. Ah, oh, we got a crit. Wrong, wrong potential system buff. Can you not do that? It's a good thing this Frieza has damage mitigation in his passage, too. That's a very good thing. Um... I don't really know if I can postpone and play around with this rotation with these guys too much. They're, they're really good, so we'll see. Big Bad Bosses is gone, but it should get reapplied, actually. So we're just going to target Vegeta, potentially stun him. Ultra Super there. Kind of want to set up purples, and the purples lined up amazingly for Vegeta next round. Oh, Big Bad Bosses to trigger, though, so that's good at least. We're getting a lot of damage. If I lose and rip the dream. Oh, we got a stun. Yes. Yes, I think we live. Ooh, 100K. Stop. Thank you. I was going to say, though, if we, if I lose, though, rip the dream because all because I didn't use an item. I started misplaying badly when we got here. Now, I'm not, like, saying I don't ever make mistakes, but not any of that really matter. Uh, sometimes it's like, oh, yo, do you free? You didn't attack with the right guy here or things like that. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter in the end of it because I was able to do it the right way. but or th I was able to beat it the right way, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, so here we have access to prodigies, so we can really kind of get Vegeta's best scenario here. Um, we'll let the Vegeta just eliminate the Piccolo. I'm going to avoid... Actually, let me do this. Just because I'd rather have the Super with Bojack than with Frieza in this scenario. Yeah, I'd, I'd just rather get the Super there. Now, Vegeta's stunned. It's unfortunate that Piccolo will get the chance to attack me, but he's not going to do anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure that we uh, don't die here, that we just pretty much make it through this round. At the bare minimum, I don't know. Maybe we get additional super crits or something. Okay, one million. Come on, Vegeta, take him out! This is your one job! Oh, he doesn't have the attack buff applied? What? Oh, did it wear off just now? Oh, my gosh! 
He needed to. Only, well, to be fair, the guy was stunned, so there was no way Vegeta was going to get it in the first spot either, because he would have needed to get hit again, like I was explaining. And he would, and getting hit would have triggered after he had already done his attack, so it wouldn't have mattered ultimately. Wow, this is a really ballsy thing to do. I'm going to leave the freezer there. Screw it, I don't care. That's a really ballsy thing to do. Oh, Vegeta should have his buff applied though, so that's good. Maybe <laughs> we might get a stun again. We have double stunners here, so who knows? You never know. Ah, no stun there. Oh, good job, Bojack. Also, Freeze's defense is buffed. I don't think he's going to take too much. 30k is way more than I thought, to be fair. But still, not too bad. All right, Vegeta. Let's end it. Trusting Cooler to not die here. I think he's fine, though. I'm trusting him, though, because we get max key. We don't get legendary power, but we get max key, and we get prodigies, and we get support. So. I also didn't want. Yes, thank you, Cooler. Uh, where's your attack at? 1.4. Almost 1.4 4 flat. Look at this Vegeta mirror match. Uh, but yeah, I also didn't want to put Frieza in the first box. I didn't know if Frieza would, like, kill him or not, so. Great job, boy. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed this showcase of Vegeta. We'll be doing some more. Um, I want to use him with the Prime Battle Goku and a few other teams. So have an awesome day, everybody, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.